One of the most extraordinary of these insect enticers lives here in the tropical rainforest of Sumatra. It only flowers once in a thousand days, and when the flower develops, it only lasts for three days. So very few people have seen it. But here it is. Technically, it's a whole group of flowers clustered around this, but you could be justified for regarding it as one flower. And if you do that, well then, this is the biggest flower in the world. It's related to the dead horse arum, but it's nine feet tall and three feet across. It's Amorphophallus titanum, the titan arum. The function of this great spike in the middle is to produce a smell. <coughs> and if you smell it, it smells very strongly of uh, bad fish. And this apparently attracts insects which come along here and go down into this great funnel to these small flowers that grow at the base. Until this film was taken, no one was sure what insects pollinated the Titan Arum. As we watched, we saw that without doubt the job was done by tiny sweat bees. Like other arums, the male flowers form a band at the top. Below them, the female flowers with long yellow-tipped stigmas. The bees seemed to find some reward on the stigmas, for they crawled all over them, distributing the pollen they'd brought with them. But why should the Titan Arum produce the biggest bloom in the world to attract such tiny pollinators? To be effective, these bees must bring pollen from another bloom. But since the plant is rare and only flowers once in three years, the nearest may be miles away. It's not easy to spread perfume over such distances in the still, humid air of the rainforest. Perhaps the best way to do so is to disperse it from the top of a towering spire, like smoke from a factory chimney.